With the release of the new iOS 26, we now have a brand new design and also a ton of new features and changes. There are over 400 new features and changes that you will be able to find on your device running the new iOS 26. But in this video, I will focus on 10 of those. I will give you guys 10 very useful tips and tricks that you need to know on your iOS 26 device. These are super useful and will allow you to do things much easier and faster on your iPhone. Now, before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button. It really helps the channel a lot. Now, here's the first one. Let's head on to the settings app here. Now, of course, this will work on any app. We're just doing it here on the settings app. So as you probably know, on any app on iOS, if we go on a page like this, we can actually swipe to go back. That is actually super useful very easy to do, very convenient, and it allows you to move between pages really, really fast. But it's much, much better with iOS 26. Here's the change. Now on iOS 18, you will have to swipe from here to go back. On iOS 26, I can swipe basically from anywhere on the page. I don't have to actually swipe from the corner here. Now you have to reach for that on iOS 18. On iOS 26, I just swipe from basically anywhere on the page here and I can go back as easy as that. Now here's another very useful one. If you have the passwords app from Apple on your device, you probably have it and you have all your stuff saved there. You will have a very, very nice addition to this app with iOS 26. So once you open the app on the home screen of the app here, just tap the three dots and you can see you will have a new button that now allows you to export your data to another app. So if you have been using the passwords app and you now have decided to move to another passwords app, you can now export all of your data from here to the other passwords app. Now here's a really cool new feature on iOS 26. This is super cool. Now, of course it works anywhere, anywhere where you have the keyboard, you can do this. So you go to the emoji keyboard, you will have of course your emojis here, but if you want to know the name of each of the emoji on the iPhone's keyboard, this is what you do. You simply tap right there and you can see right here, it will show you for like a few seconds, the name of the emoji that you have entered. I can tap right there again, it shows the name. So for any, any emoji that you can think off you just tap right there and it actually shows you the name of the emoji as easy as that now, as you probably know, with iOS 26, we have these new animations that Apple has added to when closing and opening apps. They're pretty cool, but there are a ton of people that don't actually like these new animations, or it might feel like these animations are slowing down your device. And of course, you want to get rid of them. Well, this is how you do it. And this was, of course, here before. It's not a new feature on iOS 26, but it has changed with iOS 26 and it looks really really awesome so if we go here under accessibility we can go to motion and then enable reduce motion now this as i said was here before but look at the new animation that this will give you so basically when you swipe up it just fades away it's much faster in my opinion and of course it doesn't have that animation that we just saw previously but when we open the app you can see this cool animation where the, the page moves here at the corners at the four corners of the screen you can see how cool that looks it's actually pretty awesome and you might prefer this new animation better than the one that's basically the default animation of ios now one really cool new thing you can do with ios 26 on the files app is that now you can customize your folders it is actually super useful it makes it very easy for you to find whatever you need so just go ahead and tap and hold on a folder and you will have the customize and tag section so from here you can add tags which will actually colorize your folder so if i add this tag right here for my wallpapers it will turn the folder now purple not blue and in this case I just go ahead and find the purple wallpaper the purple folder and I know that that's the the folder for my wallpapers I don't have to even go ahead and read the title of the folder now what's really cool is that you can also add like different things here like emojis or any of these like icons that you see right here so you can add them right there or you can just go ahead and move to emoji here and add 
any emoji you want on your folder. You can see how cool that looks. You can now finally have custom folders within the files app. Now when it comes to colorizing, here's another cool thing you can do with iOS 26. Now you can also colorize text on the notes app. So you simply tap that button right there and it will basically add the color to the text. Now if you tap once more, it will show you this list right here that allows you to just basically pick any color you want to colorize your text. That way, of course, making like highlighting different parts of a note or different sections or even entire rows very, very easy. Moving into the iMessage app. Now, what's really cool here is that, of course, now we can have backgrounds for our conversations. But what's really cool is the way you create them if you go to the color section. So you will have photos where you can add your own photos or you can go to color right here and then you will have two different buttons. You can tap on that, pick a color and on that, pick another color. And then what it will do is that it will combine those colors to actually create a background for your conversation. You can even swipe here so you can see, you can add like different colors to that. But again, if you just swipe all the way here to custom, you can simply pick your own colors and have like a wallpaper here for the background created automatically combining those two colors you like. Now with iOS 26, on the music app, you can also now translate lyrics. So whenever you're listening to a song and the lyrics are in a different language, you will actually get this button right here, which you can just tap and it allows you to actually translate the lyrics. As you can see, it will show the original lyrics right there and just underneath, it will show you the translation. Now, another thing that you can do on the music app, which is super useful, is now you can organize your playlists into different folders. So if you go to playlists right here, we'll have this plus button that allows us to now create folders. So I can go ahead and create a folder here. So basically what you're doing is that you will have new folders with playlists in them. So if I have a bunch of playlists, I can create different folders and organize my playlists, basically, maybe on like music genre or whatever I want to do, I can just go ahead and now put playlists within folders. Now with iOS 26, you know that we have a feature on the lock screen where it will display how much time is required to charge your battery, but it only shows you how much time will take to charge your battery to 80%. Now, if you go to settings and you go to battery right here, then you will have here two different sections. Now, my battery is at 88, but if it were under 80, it will just split this and it will show me how much time it will require to 80% and then how much time it will require to also charge to 100% because you know from 80 to 100, it charges very, very slow. So in that case, you can see here 12% charge remaining and it's at 50 minutes because it will charge really slow. So if you just want to know the exact time you need to charge your iPhone to 100%, go into the battery section on the settings app. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found these tips and tricks very helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.